Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for a kind introduction, and thank you for inviting me to speak today. Actually, this is my first written keynote speech. I'm not used to write speeches. I've never do it. I've never done it. So this is the first one, and I want to apologize for any mistakes, anything you may like or you may not in, in my speech. Uh, first of all, congratulations to all of you. You should be very proud of yourself for accomplishing this goal. I know you must all be excited to get your hands on your diplomas and run out into the world. To the families of those graduating and earning certifications, congratulations to you. And you should know that your support through this process made an enormous impact. I'm sure you are very proud of your graduates as they close this portion of their lives and prepare for their next steps into the new career. <clears throat> Graduation is one of those steps in life that defines a coming of age, the enjoy of one area of life as a student and moving onto a new stage in which you're, you are a leader and an achiever in the world. I'm sure many of you have clear plans and have a good idea of what's coming next. Some of you have a pretty good idea of what you want to do next, dream and a lot of hope to get you there, and some of you are just amazed that you got to the graduation point at all. Well, the coming times will be exciting. They will be all dependent on your and your determination. I studied physics and astrophysics at the Yerevan State University. It was a brilliant time, perhaps the best in my life. I used to play in a rock band. You know, those years I had long hairs. <laughs> my hand made the rock guitar. So it was a generation of those guys who were learning Stairway to Heaven with lyrics and, and playing. So we were like crazy and we had no idea about science. And I never thought that I would, one day I would become an astronomer. So I thought that my life would be dedicated to music. And uh, unfortunately it didn't, but, but still there we are. And um, so we used to hike and climb, travel and party, a lot of partying. Music was always an important part of my life. And music was energizing my studies and creativity, passion for science. So I, I think, I, it, I, I think I would never become who I am without music in my life. I think it's playing really an important role. And daily music and through everything from classical to jazz to rock music to pro rock to everything. So I'm, I was a kind of a person who never distinguished different types of music as long as you like it. So it was, and, and not just five minutes, but hours and hours every day and playing and performing, improvising and everything. So. Um, so I, I, I want to ask you to pay more attention to music <laughs> in your life because at the end of the day, it's going to relax you. It's going to give you a lot of energy and creativity and hope and passion and everything. I think it's the best thing that humanity has created in, in a history. It's it, arts and music. <clears throat> And I was one of the best students at the Faculty of Physics. I had big plans for myself. I could get a permanent job at the observatory without even completing a PhD. That was possible in the Soviet Union. Nevertheless, I decided to start a PhD. And you see, I planned to take it easy, not work too hard, and enjoy life. However, my life didn't turn out quite the way I planned. The breakup of the Soviet Union has changed many things. No salary, no transportation, no electricity, and how you are going to finish your PhD. Well, don't ask me how I did it, but I did it. <laughs> it was super hard. I had to work on a farm, play piano in a restaurant. I sold my vinyls the ones that I have been collecting for many years. I was forced to sell them. 
my video recorder, my keyboard, my VA keyboard, I had to sell it. There was a period when there was no money, nothing. So you have to sell everything which is very close to your heart and very, is, is part of you actually. So, and uh, uh, I thought it would, and I don't regret a bit of it. I haven't failed. I haven't failed. Life doesn't usually follow the plans you lay out for yourself. You will all experience the highs and lows of life, the difficult and easy, and unfortunately, there may be times too many difficulties and just not enough smooth sailing. Your true success will be defined by how you handle both of those times. As you graduate and take on new challenges, perhaps you won't be making million dollars at your first job. In fact, you may not get the first or second or even third job you interview for. for you may never become a CEO of a Fortune 500 company in your life, but that's okay. The important thing is you have already taken the initial steps needed to build a more promising future. Every class you have taken, every lab, every certification you have earned, they have all been preparing you to adopt the change and challenges. It's a tough world out there. Nothing will be handed to you. You have to earn it. And it will mean more to you because you will earn it. You have taken a key steps towards your successful future. You have worked hard, spending months learning new skill sets. Your, our complex and technical world today requires education and skills that were not needed in the past. Ultimately, your well-educated generation will benefit us all in the future. Let me highlight the statement from Ralph Emerson. Don't follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. I think it's a very, very interesting statement. So try to be different. Try to create your path. So, you are now armed with one of the most important tools needed to forge your path ahead. It's not the diploma itself that counts. It's about what you have learned along the way and what you do with the education you've gotten in your journey to graduation today. Your future is in your hands and no one else's. So don't give up. Stay positive, stay strong, and be different very important to be different. You don't have to be a man or a woman of your dream. You should be you and uh, be different. I think it's one of the key points in, in life. You don't have to copy others. You don't have to. It's not a good thing that people are trying to copy whoever they are. It can be celebrities, a term which I hate. It can be whoever, but just be yourself and be natural as you are. Be natural and, and be very ambitious. You have to be super ambitious. Put yourself very ambitious plans. I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to go to Mars, I want to I wanna change the world. It's really nice if each of you wants to change the world. You have to change the world. And the world will be changed if, if you want to change it. Otherwise, we will still stay in the same unfortunate situation. You know, being an astronomer, I always look up so this is my daily job, so it stars, universe, stars, universe. But from time to time, you have to turn back your head and look down to the earth and say, what the hell is going on on this planet? And th this is very depressing, actually. But there are nice things on the planet, too. Music is one of those things. <laughs> Art, creativity, science, technology, those are the most important things that you have. And unfortunately, science has never been popular on this planet. Even in my days in Soviet Union, astronomy was, was respected, but was not the number one. Even those days, lawyers or economists or doctors, they were the highly prestigious. The side was always behind lawyers, lawyers, lawyers. 
and uh, and we were like feeling Jesus Christ of this Lord, I mean we, we should go to <laughs> and uh, but uh, I'm really happy that I I choose my profession right so I know how the universe works and I know how little this earth is so I can plan my time I can plan my future and I'm really happy what I have done in my life and what I'm planning to do even more so it's not really important which profession you choose, but just try to be different and have ambitious goals. Be clean in your life with your friends, with your family. Have lots of friends, lots of friends. You need lots of friends. Communicate. And um, best of luck in all your future challenges. And I hope to see you in our festival next uh, September in Starmus. Thank you very much.